a closer to finally getting the IndyCar series uh, back on the streets of St. Pete for the opener. It's been a long off season, uh, but announcements like this, DA Lubricants coming on board, uh, very exciting news for you guys. Yeah, it's great for us as a team. You know, I think uh, it's cool to have a, a local company, you know, based in Lebanon, come on board and, and be a part of this team. And, um, you know, DA has been an IndyCar 50 plus years ago. And uh, so to have them back is, is very exciting. And uh, to see this yellow car is going to run in New Orleans. They're going to be with us all year, but New Orleans will be the primary. You know, for us, it's, it's, pretty, uh, it's pretty thrilling because of the fact that it is kind of a new sponsor. And I think everybody's excited about what, you know, the future of IndyCar could hold. And uh, with the new aero kits and all these other things thrown at us, uh, to be here today and announce this, this deal came together awfully quick. Uh, from the first phone call that I received, um, you know, to, to help sort of pitch the deal. I, I sat down with my good friend Drew and uh, kind of went over what DA was looking for and then got him in touch with Brian Marks, who does our sponsorship, and off this thing went. And so um, it's pretty cool that it's at this stage. The car looks pretty sharp, too. You know? It does. It does. And, um, you know, hopefully it's fast. I mean, <laughs> we've been seeing a yellow car with Mr. Hunter A win a lot, so hopefully, yeah, hopefully yellow can be good luck for us. But, uh, you know, frankly, like I said, it's just exciting for us to be bringing new sponsors back on board. We, we got quite a shock when the guard left last year. They, they told us they were good to go, and next thing you knew, I was reading on the internet that they had left. Um, and so for us to bring, you know, DA back is, uh, is really, really good. Car looks sharp. It is not set up with the new aero kits, though, that uh, made its debut. We're finally going to see on the track uh, when you guys are testing at Barber Motorsports Park. But what do you? What do you? I mean, you've seen the looks of the. What do you think of the uh, the new aero kit? Well, I mean, the aero kit. I think it's going to add a lot of excitement to the sport because, you know, the Chevy looks far different than the Honda. Uh, I think even with all the elements and the wings and this, that, the other thing that are on the cars, you know, how each team may set the car up per race might be a little bit different uh, depending on what the downforce levels or drag levels that they see fit for that weekend. There's going to be a lot that goes into this thing, a lot. And uh, I don't think anybody's going to have a really good understanding of it until probably, uh, you know, after Sonoma for the last race of the year. I mean, I think that's going to be the first time you're like, ah, I'm just starting to get this thing figured out. So I'm, you know, frankly, I'm just excited to drive it. I think, um, you know, to get back out there on track, I've spent enough hours in the gym. I've spent enough hours watching tape and, you know, thinking about racing. And you know, it's now, time. It, it's now, time to now, get back at it. Now it's so. just time to just do it. You know. Well, there's one thing for sure. I mean, with all these little winglets, and uh, there's no lack of downforce in these cars. No. We hope not. You know, I mean, it has a lot of wings and stuff. IndyCar took away the under tray. They took away the sidewalls and the and the strakes and the and the under trays. That takes away. A considerable amount of downforce. Explain but, the under tray. What, 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 are, what, what do you, when you say under tray, what should fans uh, be looking for? The, well, underneath the car, it's got these tunnels, you know, that, that shape up around the tub and then build towards the back, and that creates a lot of suction, basically. And um, the closer that those sidewalls and stuff get to the ground, the more downforce that developed. Well, IndyCar by rule took those away, so now in essence, the car is lifted up and creates less downforce. So, for instance, at Indy. You know, last year you could have taken them off and lost 400 some pounds of downforce. It's a big, big change. But with the new wings and the new side pods and the winglets and this, that, the other thing, I don't know all the special terms like Chevy came up with, but uh, it should, it's going to be more than that, you know, more than the loss. It's just how much. And, and that's what I'm interested to see. Well, so much, not to get two X's and O's, but so much is going to play into this tire wear. Uh, et cetera, you know, what, what, I mean, this, it's really going to be interesting to see yeah. how it all plays out. Well, with more downforce, you think tire wear is going to be a little bit harder because it's going to be harder on the tire. It's right. going to use the tire a lot more. Um, so there is a lot more that goes into that, you know. But uh, like I said, at the end of the day, I'm thrilled to, to, to be coming back out here and, and yeah. be racing, represent DA, um, you know, all the other brands that have come on board with us. Uh, you know, Clearplex, another one, a brand new sponsor to the sport that's that we've introduced this year, so it's exciting for us, and I, I think that we can uh, we can do a great job for them. Well, congratulations! If nothing else, you get oil changes for the rest of the year now. So. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs>